Today we are going to consider line integral. What is line integral? Line integral is an integral evaluated on curve. Let's say this is the curve in XYZ plane. Curve begins from X1, Y1, Z1 and ends at X2, Y2, Z2. So we write line integral as f dot dr where f is a vector function f dot dr this is f dot this integral is denoted by f dot dr where f is any vector function which can be written as x y z i f2 x y z j plus f3 x y z K. You can write this vector function as f1 i f2 j and f3 k. See uh, r denotes r denotes x i plus y z plus z k. So dr will be dx i dy j dz k. So if I write f dot dr f dot dr is f1 dx f2 dy and f3 dz you can write like this f1 dx f2 dy and f3 dz now see this line integral the domain of this integration the region over which this is integrated is this curve so we can use every this we can use all the property of a curve to reduce this integral. Suppose the equation of curve is given. Suppose I take, suppose x is an independent variable on the curve. x is an independent variable on the curve. So, see, on the curve, you have only one independent variable. It means for curve C, Y can be written as F1X and Z can be written as F2X. Only one variable is independent. I can take, if I take X as independent variable, then Y and Z has to be written as, can be written as function of X. Alright. So, in that case, I can say DY is dx and dz is f2 dash dx. So if I put all this, if I write y and z are present in f1, f2 and f3, so I can put in place of y f1x in place of z f2x and dy replaced with f1 dash x dx and then dz is replaced by f2 dash x dx. So this integral converts to this converts to f dot dr finally will convert to some kind of this function of x dx because i have replaced y with f1x and z with f2x and dy and dz has to be, is being replaced with these two quantities so this f dot dr will finally come as fx dx so in that case your this integral will appear as this integral will be written as some kind of This will be written as fx dx. So we have converted a line integral to a definite integral. And what will be the limit of x? Limit of x will be x1 to x2. Limit of x will be x1 to x2. So this is how we evaluate the line integral. Right. The other way can be. See here we have taken x as independent variable. If suppose you take y as independent variable. In that case. If uh, y is taken as independent variable, if y is taken as independent variable, so if uh, then in that case, I can write x as the function of y and z as function of y. Means on the curve you have just one independent variable and I have taken y as independent variable. In that case, x and z can be expressed as a function of y and dx can be written as f1 dash y dy and 
dz can be written as f2 dash y dy. So f dot dr, I can express f dot dr, which is f, f dot dr is what? f1 dx, f2 dy, and f3 dz. So this can be written as, I can replace x and z in f1 with f1y and f2y, x and z in f2 with f1y and f2y, and f3 in f3 we replace x and z with f1y and f2y again, and <coughs> dy and dz can be written as this. So this whole integral comes out to be fy dy. So now this can be written as fy dy. So by incorporating the equation of curve, I have converted a line integral to a definite integral and the limit of y will be from y1 to y2. From y1 to y2. Similarly, if I take z as independent variable, if z is taken as independent variable, then in that case, I can express x as f1z and y as f2z. Similarly, dx is f1 dash z dz and dy is f2 dash z dz. So, in that case, f dot dr can be written as f1 dx f2 dy and f3 dz which will finally convert to and replace x and y with f1z and f2z and dx and dy with f dash z dz and f dash f2 dash z dz so this will convert to a function of z dz so you can reduce a line integral f dot dr to fz dz and limit of z will be from z1 to z2. Now sometimes you are given sometimes you are given the equation of curve in terms of parameter like I can express x y z as function of say parameter t. So if t is written as if equation of curve is equation of curve is given in terms of parameter is given in terms of parameter in that case x is written as say f1 t y is written as f2 t and z is written as f3 t so in that case your dx will be f1 dash t dt, dy will be written as f2 dash t dt and dz is written as f3 sorry is t dt. So your equation your your this f dot dr now can be f dot dr will be written as you will replace x y z with these functions and dx dy dz with these functions so this will be written as f t dt and hence this integral will finally convert to f t dt this is line integral sorry this is definite here t1 to t2 we can find out t1 to uh, what is t1 and t2 by say for what value of t x is x1 that will be t1 for what value of t x is x2 that will give you t2 all right so it means we will find line integral we, will, we can evaluate line integral by converting it to a definite integral so there are four ways if x is taken independent variable it will convert to fx dx if y is taken independent variable it will convert to fy dy if z is taken independent variable it will convert to 
fz dz and if equation of curve is given in terms of parameter then it will convert to ft dt